Good morning, everybody. Hey, welcome. We've got, uh, just felt like casting some today. And we've got, uh, this is not the sieves I thought it was going to be. But we've got Britons. And we've got Poles. I've got Sicilians. On hideout. And uh, I feel like this could be a good one. Got some deer pushing going on already from Fresh. Deer pushing going on for Bunky. Nice. And deer pushing going on. It's like you guys are in sync. If you were a boy band, you'd be Backstreet Boys. Or in sync, whichever one. You're all good. Who doesn't like them? Uh, anyway. Building some stuff. Got some herdables. Not even going for the patch of giant grass, just eating the small patch. Nice flowers, I like the aesthetics. And uh, pushing in more deer for Bunky. And I'm pushing in more deer. And I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit. You guys seem like you're doing fine. Nobody's doing anything other than pushing deer. So I'm trying to think if all y'all are just pushing deer. Probably, obviously, for Bunky, it'd be like a fast castle situation. But if you're just like, uh, you don't really, I mean, you know, in team hideout, you know that the person's going to be right next to you, right? Like, if the map looks like this, you know somebody's going to be right here. So there's not really much scouting you have to do other than maybe looking to see, okay, yeah, you can see your gold there. And... Okay, yeah, you can see your gold there, and you can see your gold there. So, like, maybe knowing which part of your map, but even then, you're going to learn as it goes. Here comes a boar lore for one, two, oh, okay, nice. Boar's dead, boar's dead, and not too bad. Fresh keeps all of his guys out on the in the pasture. So does Z and Tom, oh, my man, that's how mine always look, randomly scattered throughout somewhere. Normally have one underneath here somehow, just getting in the way of everything else. And uh, Fresh goes out to scout, do some scouting loops, maybe see a future wall off potentials, you know, stuff like that. Not a bad idea, especially if you want to keep Bunky extra safe. I feel like as flank, it's kind of your duty to try and walk, walk, wall off that little area. Um, eventually. Unless you're just being aggressive and keeping them pinned down in their base. But even then, behind your aggression, I feel like just like a, a wall off is a good idea. And let's see, you guys, okay, probably not a fast castle. Oh, sorry. Whew. As you guys are all going, uh, feudal age pressure. Feudal age early, not too bad. Whoa, purple's got seven villagers queued up at 19. Oh man, this'll be interesting. I did not look at Elos for any of this. Okay, they seem maybe a step below you guys. Um, but overall, probably about evenly, evenly matched. We go barracks at this timing for Z makes a lot of sense. And we've got Fresh figure out what he's doing. And you guys are all scouting out, so. And not getting housed is a great idea. If it's gonna be in time. Uh, it should be. Should be just in time, I think. You got one build killing that guy. Queuing up your sheepies next. Look at that. It's like Babe was leading them. Bah, ram, you. It's a quality movie. I don't know if you guys have watched it recently, but you should. You should go watch it. Oh, and slightly housed. All good. All good. All good. All good. All good. Archery range. Unless you weren't housed there. Let's see what our LTC time is like for you guys. Oh, bunky. Not too bad. Overall, really not too bad. 
Bucky's going up a little bit later, which makes a ton of sense. And, oh, just deleting the walls anyway. Oh. All right, I like it. Double archery range. Britain's is great. Oh, and we're going Vils forward with fresh. I like the energy. We get double bid axe. Go forward. Don John right away. I just love Sicilians. I feel like Don John is just such a Sicilian name. I can't even say it with a good accent, but I'm dropping a Don John. I can see some people in Jersey saying that. The most Italian of tower names. It kind of makes me think. Do they call, if you're in Italy, do they call towers donjons? Alright, and just going straight for the walls. The question is, does this range... Turned off the range mod, so we really can't see it, but... All right, and straight to a Sicilian, and you're breaking through that wall fast. You should let that other villa get it instead of the scout. And you're through. And are you prepared to drop a second? Uh, okay, yeah, four on stone, and you got plenty of wood and food. And how aggressive are you going to be with this? Because he could probably rush it down if he really wanted to. You, you do have two of those guys, though, so... I think you scared him off enough. You don't have... Oh, wait. No, sorry. I was looking at the wrong line when I talked earlier. All right. Dungeon there. Gonna be fine. And more sergeants are coming out. Two on gold. Nine on food. I kind of like it. And sorry. While that's going on, two archers. A scout. And he's making spears. Oh, man. Red's in trouble. Red is in trouble. He has got the wrong guy. He's making skirms, though. You can see his archery range. Fresh creating all sorts of pressure. I do love hideout for feudal age tower drops. I don't know what about it, but it feels so great. Oh, uh, you're halfway through? Okay, yeah. If you can take that out, you'll see if someone comes to drop a house. You can move forward, probably. Pressure's great. So you're denying gold and a stone. You're going to go back, push back to stone. But you don't have anybody in this. It's the only trouble. But you can just keep on going and making stuff, at least. Alright, and you're through. And using the scout? Yes, no? And you're just going to overwhelm. Straight up overwhelm. Two range skirms is... Uh, I doubt that was up with enough time. I doubt that was up with enough time. And... Oh, the vil kills. The vil kills. The pressure. And Fresh just dives deep under here. And he's got a second tower. Oh, and he's going to try to wall you in. Which isn't a bad idea. But you do have just so many. See, here's... He could go try to build rush that down. Oh, there you go. You got the scout there. Perfect. And are you still producing? Yep, you got four in queue. You got people on the way. And this guy is in trouble. And then you got Tom. Let me just boom, guys. This is going to be fine. Yellow, though. How good of booming is yellow? Oh, it's poles over here. Also, poles on poles. He's got two full works down. How many do you got? You got two down with more farms. I like it. And you're getting your TCs down. More TCs than he's going to get. Yeah, this uh, poles player needs... This red player needs some knights bad. From poles. And okay, and he's moving out here. And the question is, do you how, what do you see? Okay, so you see him trying to wall you out. We're not walling you in. Oh, you should just take these guys over here and make one on this side too. Are you going to do that? Are you going to do that? I don't know. Okay, you're here. Okay, your archer mass. Oh, is on the wood line. Massacre on the wood line. I haven't seen anything like this since the summer of 86. 
Oh, brutal. Brutality. And are you going to make it through the wall here? Oh, he's trying to fit a tower down. A ta wall tower. Not the greatest chances. you think he'd put a tile down a wall and then a tower behind it. But uh, he's making it work. And you guys keeping your resources down still. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. And a nice just ball of archers. Now are you going to be thinking about going castle age anytime soon? Yes you are. Food count is climbing. Oh, trying to leave. Uh, just, yeah, just escape. And if you're escaping and making it to Castle Age with 16 archers, that's got to feel real good. Real good. Okay. He's got two towers down now. Lord of the Rings. And take that out. Uh, I guess it's probably in range of TC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do that. And, okay. You say, I've done enough damage. I'm going to go back and upgrade my army with Castle Age. Beautiful. Tom's housing himself with all of his vill production. And Tom's just living the booming life. Purple's completely off of, off of stuff. But does he have any wood income at all? Oh, he's over here. And he's only at 27 vills. 15 vills. Let's take a look at the KD. 20... Well, 26 and 7 KD, but Eco KD, 15 Vils. You've taken out 15 Vils. Fresh still over here. Now, Fresh, are you getting up anytime soon? Still shy on food a bit. Still shy on food. And you are... You see both those towers. And on forward stables from the pocket player, really appreciate forward production Vils out of the pocket. Now... You guys have got to feel like you got the foot on the gas. Fresh has got purple's base just completely. It, purple doesn't have any vills. No vills inside of his walls. One sergeant up there. There is not a single vill. All of his vills are walled in, in this area. Oh, man. And he's just... He's hurting. He can go back in his base. Go back in your base, man. It's okay. And... What did I say about forward production buildings? It's the nicest one of all right there. Bodkin, crossbow, bow saw. Getting eco upgrades. You did get heavy plow. Or not, you didn't get heavy plow. Oh, and Tom goes, that's not forward enough for my four vills. Okay, never mind. Now, what are you thinking? All right, you got the archers. All right, and oh, okay. Z's going there. It almost wouldn't be a bad idea to try to get it up on this side so we can't escape. Is that what you are thinking? Because that's next level moves. And I think that is what you're thinking. You guys must have said, Z said, no, go ahead and move it forward. We've got my army here to pin them down. And then pocket can't do anything. And the walls are said essential. Essential. All right. Red's still in feudal, though. Those uh, skirms are not going to have enough armor to really contribute. Uh-oh. Okay, so you get yellow's O-Book here. O-Book on sergeants. I would think uh, O-Book would destroy feudal age sergeants. And I almost feel like that's still going up really fast. The, the clicking like that doesn't make it go any faster? I don't know. Now, do you have... Okay, yeah, you've got fletching at least. All right, and we're about to have the massacre over here. And Red's out. Red taps out. He's like, there's no freaking way. I got double castle dropped. Can't escape with any vills. Half of Purple's vills are already escaped. And there's just not enough O-Book to uh, keep this... Oh, you're repairing. I just fight the O-Book with everybody. Oh, you're waiting 10 seconds, maybe. You're going to try to wait. Yeah, I feel like you could just take it. You got numbers. And especially now. Oh! Oh! Nice. Nice to realize that that was there. I didn't even realize purple was up to... Was up to castle. Uh, but... Red's annihilated. Time to move on to... 
Yellow. Oh, and we see yellows. Oh, oh, oh. And man, that Britain range. That Britain range, it feels so bad. You even had double mangonels, but look at that. Just playing with them. Just playing with them. And I was wondering if you're going to try to get by, uh, a university for what you may call it ballistics. Okay, and you see the you see the castle there on that side, which is correct thinking on his part. I'm surprised that these guys are even playing on, to be honest. They can take a look into Red's mini map and see what he's got. And purple is okay. He's reestablished in his base, and he is taking out the fortifications. And he's he's repairing. Okay, so he's trying to get back into it okay and you are finding every castle probably the hard way i'm not sure how many you had a minute ago but you got 30 now and okay and he's streaming o book in one at a time not a good move that's like something i would do look at the wasted wasted potential rally point set to right there yeah he's just overwhelmed you guys are taking his resources yeah, I think when I'm pocket bunky and I got some nice just sitting, I try to just tell them to guard like one of one of a group of crossbows and then they'll just stick around and you don't have to micro them anymore. But it's your way of just keeping a little bit of meat shield for your archer player. It's my only tip I think of this game that I would say. Otherwise, eco check. Nice. Beautiful. Nothing's more aesthetically pleasing than a full full work. Farm placements, not bad, not bad. Uh, oh, you decided to come over at the end of the game, which is a good decision. You go check, few farms, not bad. Do you been just two ranges this whole time? And just straight up to imp. I like, I like the one TC play from both of you guys on flanks. One TC for flanks is just, it's good. All right, and uh, at this point. He's trying to do some slash of privileges, but it is not going to be enough, I can guarantee you at this point. Castle, I mean the Castle Age, oh yeah, you're not going. Castle Age Sergeants are pretty darn good. Oh, he took one hit, he took one hit. Oh, ducking under. Ducking under. Oh, man. And this guy. How many? He's got only 21. And he taps out. Yellow's the only one left. And yellow's got a decent boom going now. He's got a decent boom. He's got, uh... How many farms is that? 47 full, full work farms. However, forward castle here. You got poles on the opposite side. And you got... Two players in Imp against you, and you're still in Castle Age, so... This is, uh, it's over, Johnny. It's over, Johnny. Now, let's see, did any of you guys... You probably didn't even make a monastery. Did you make a monastery? Anybody going for relics? Sounds like a fresh thing to do. Or a Zach thing to do. Or a Tom thing to do. So, uh, I wouldn't be surprised in any, in any levels. And okay, you see that there? Does he see it there? Does he see it? Nope. All right. And he's still dropping more farms. How many? I mean, he's up to 100 bills, but ain't no way. Ain't no way. This guy, he's got one more. Uh, all right. And do you have ballistics? Oh, you got one more minute till ballistics comes in. So this is your group. It's down to 17 now. Oh, and you got 12 over there. Okay, so that was your 30. You're trying to make it out. Oh, and he's tried to dodge, but uh, it's not working the greatest. And he calls it. And the GG, no GGs are called. Not a single GG. I mean, this guy's eco did look kind of nice. It just was too slow. 
and Bunky was already an imp with 20 Cavalier, and you're going up against Arbs, and then you see a stream of these guys coming in, and it's just, uh, no bueno. No bueno for you. Overall, I loved the energy. Loved the donjon rush. Loved the archer push. Even just the archers v. Skirms, you're taking, you know, what is in theory a bad fight, but you always had numbers to overwhelm. And it just snowballed from there. Great pushes. And a really fun game to watch. GG, guys.